Hey guys, Adam here with a tutorial on how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S and your iPad 2 using Absinthe for Windows. So the jailbreak is finally here. This is going to be jailbreaking your iPhone 4S on 5.0.1 or 5.0 as well as your iPad 2 on 5.0.1. So I'm going to put the download link down in the description for Absinthe. Go ahead and download that and then unzip the file and make sure when you're opening it up, right click and run as administrator. So I'm going to do that here. So run as administrator and now the program should open up. So I'm going to allow it and then Absinthe will open up. Make sure your device is plugged into the computer and you're going to get this similar uh, little interface here. And make sure your device is detected here. So mine says iPhone 4S with iOS 5.0.1 detected. Click the button to begin. So my 4S is detected. So now I'm going to go ahead and click jailbreak. So click jailbreak, it's now going to say connecting to jailbreak, beginning jailbreak, this may take a while, and give it some time, you know, this jailbreak does take, you know, 3 to 5, even 10 minutes to do, and now it's going to say sending initial data, your device will appear to be restoring a backup, and basically you guys saw that restore complete on my iPhone, do not worry about that, that's completely normal. Now it says waiting for reboot, not done yet, don't unplug your device yet, and as you guys can see here, this process is identical to the process on Mac. So if you guys already saw my jailbreak tutorial for Absinthe on Mac, you're already familiar with the process. Alright, so keep waiting here. I'm not going to really cut out too much of this jailbreak process so you guys can see this in real time. Now it looks like my iPhone is restoring, but of course it's not. That's just part of the, part of the jailbreak process. Now it says waiting for a device to finish booting. And now you guys can slide to unlock, but don't just yet because the jailbreak is not done yet so it says preparing jailbreak data and soon the Absinthe logo will be appearing on your iOS device. Alright so keep waiting here and I may speed this a little bit forward here. Now it says sending payload data this may take a while do not touch your device yet so of course do not touch your device yet and that screen right there means we're almost done and you guys are going to be able to touch that Absinthe logo on your iPhone to install Cydia in just a second now. So now it says almost done, just unlock the screen if necessary, then tap the jailbreak icon to finish. So take your iPhone, slide to unlock, and you should see the Absinthe logo, and mine is right there, so tap on that. And now it looks like Absinthe is working here. And now my device is back on, so let's slide to unlock. And now, as you guys can see there, we now have Cydia, and you're done with the jailbreak. So I'm going to prepare the file system. This will take a minute or so, and then you guys can choose user, hacker, or developer. Alright, and my device has now resprung, and now when you go back to Cydia, you will be able to choose user, hacker, or developer. I'm just going to choose developer, click done. So there we go guys, your iOS device is now officially jailbroken with Absinthe on Windows. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like rating down below. Click that favorite button down below, it really helps me out. And be sure to subscribe for more jailbreak tutorials and jailbreak tweak videos. Anyways guys, thanks all for watching.